My name is Jonathan Ashmore. I'm the founder and director of architecture, interior architecture and design practice and architect based in Dubai and also here in London. Um, we're a boutique design office that focuses across private residential, residential, hospitality, workplace, cultural projects. We try to create projects that have this sort of timelessness that our clients, um, be it a residential client or even in a hospitality aspect, can layer on the additional artworks, the actual furniture choices, the tones and fabrics that are actually far more flexible to modify can actually start to influence spaces and changes. Architecture has always been part of my life. I'm, I'm really creative and I think very three-dimensionally and I solve my problems through my sketchbook. It's always been the way. My father is actually in engineering, so I remember um, from quite a young age he would bring home big technical drawings that he'd lay out on the dining table. And it really intrigued me about the balancing and the technicality of engineering and the creativity of architecture itself as well. For us, light is, is incredibly important and it's been incredibly important for many, many architects. Light dictates, you know, how we perceive space. So for us, when we're working with projects, it's very much focused on where we can draw in from the natural light conditions. But then what we really concentrate on is how it then transitions through the day. So the different light conditions and the positions, the different color temperatures naturally from sunrise to midday to sunset. Because particularly for private residential as such, it's all about the emotion and the spaces that is really dictated by light. And also that that process takes a lot of time to sort of, let's say, curate and to perfect in the design stages. So it is important that essentially light is considered from the very start of the project. One of our favorite projects, the one that we most recently completed is a private residential building in Dubai. Um, a 3,000 square meter private villa for a client that was actually relocating from Europe to Dubai. Um, the challenge with the project was to really understand to create a family home um, in such a sort of a large scale um, private project. Uh, light was a very important aspect to this particular project and I think that was one of the most successful collaborations we did with John Cullen. One of the aspects that we're you know, often challenged with is looking at spaces where there's almost no natural daylight, like basement spaces or spaces where we do have limited amount to you know, a slither of natural daylight. And I think you know, the way in which lighting technology has evolved and the way in which people understand how lighting can contribute to a space is, is allowing those people to occupy these more complex spaces, these basement spaces in, in London, private residential property projects or in different projects that we have around the world. And I think it's one of the challenges, but it's also sometimes the most rewarding. Um, probably the most challenging was another recent project that we, uh, we completed, we've been working on for about two, two and a half years. It's actually a boutique desert retreat and spa project um, based in the UAE in Sharjah, uh, in the UAE desert. Um, the way in which it was actually quite most challenging was the fact that the buildings were there from the 1960s. There were two redundant structures either side of a road which had the oldest petrol pump in the UAE on site. So they had a sort of an element of historic and heritage element to the project, yet it was redundant. So the challenge was to bring this back to life as a boutique destination hospitality experience. And then also how we could carefully reprogram these two uh, derelict buildings, one to become a restaurant, um, to utilize the local farm and the organic farming in the area, and the other one to convert to a sort of boutique lodge that had five uh, bedrooms in which people could stay for short periods of time as a removal from the city. I, I love, you know, architecture for its creativity and I really engage with it in regards to its sort of its, uh, you know, its process of, of problem solving through creative thinking. Um, a key piece of advice is to truly understand why you are interested and why you want to pursue architecture and design because it's certainly part of your lifestyle and it becomes a sort of an approach, it becomes a way of thinking, it becomes a way of living. So it is a, a commitment, but I think ultimately for me, it's been a passion. So I don't necessarily see the difference between, you know, relaxation and work to that extent. And it's definitely a way of, 
living that architecture and design is, is, is sort of within the lifestyle that we lead. So having to be aware of that and understand the commitment that you're going to be and, and truly being true to honesty yourself if it is something that you really are you know, passionate about and believe in.